I do a portrait, I typically will have a, a table, you know, maybe eight feet long, filled with everything I need. And um, it kind of is just an instinctual thing in terms of which, which particular thing I'm going to take and make a mark with. I love the materials and I really have fine pleasure with that experience. I have a real affinity for the tactile nature of all the, you know, you know, the mediums that I use. And so you can make an entirely different mark with a chalk pastel than you can with an oil stick. And a large oil stick is sort of a fattier, kind of larger mark that you might make big and more expressive and you can then there's smaller oil sticks and you can make a smaller line and I like to have the line quality buried and the shape quality. We met at an opening at Gallery 323 here in Duluth and when I came into that exhibition I remember walking in that afternoon I wasn't expecting to be as, as intrigued and as enamored with the work as I was. Later that afternoon I was introduced to Anne we stood in front of the works, we talked, and it was an immediate connection, not only with the work, but with Anne herself. We started talking about her grandmother, uh, the inspiration that her grandmother was in her career and in, in her life and her personal development. And I fell in love both with Anne's work and with her grandmother's work. Certainly from an early age, uh, my grandmother and the way she worked and her sort of idea about painting, which she would say, you know, I can't paint right now because I my arthritis, I'm too tired, because she could barely write even. But she would say, but I'm always painting in my mind. And her excitement and enthusiasm for very simple, beautiful things in the world, I think, sort of woke that up in me. She was very alive as an individual and as a person and as an artist, and that really touched me. She was sort of my hero in a lot of ways, and my mentor and my friend. She understood me, I think, much better than anyone I've ever known. And I understood her, and we didn't have to speak about it. It was very wonderful. Much of the work, of course, is portraiture of family and people that I'm close to and have a great affinity for and love for. And so it becomes very personal in the images, you know, and sometimes with the images of my grandmother, she, of course, you know, some of them she sat for me and I did those when she was there, but much of them I did from a photograph. So often there was weeping and, you know, very emotional sort of experience. Art can bring people together It's part of history, it's part of documenting our culture, it's part of documenting our relationship with the environment, it's part of our family history and heritage. And this work certainly fits into that continuum. This work that Anne has produced is highly expressive, it's evocative. Not only does she impart a sense of history to those works, but she imparts some part of herself in a, in a, a, a feeling of, of ritual that I think makes these works very outstanding.